Hey, hey, y'all. I am back with another video, and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Cantu Flaxseed hairline, and I'm just going to get right into it. My hair is already wet, so I'm going to first start with the Flaxseed Smoothing Shampoo from Cantu. These are their new products. I have another um new line from them. I haven't got a chance to review that yet, so if you want to see that, let me know. So this um, shampoo, the benefits they said is supposed to remove heavy buildup, promotes hair growth with each use, and flaxseed oil formulates helps reduce breakage and, and minimizes frizz. So first of all, this product is extremely thick. It's very thick and slime kind of feeling. Um, it had a tiny bit of slip, but again, this product is not saying that it's going to give you any slip. It just had a little bit, but not a lot. So if you're ex um, expecting slip from this shampoo, you're not going to get it. But it is more like a clarifying shampoo where your hair will feel a little bit dry after usage. So the next product I'm going to use is their Flaxseed Smoothing Leave-In or Rinse Out Conditioner. And it says that this product promotes healthy hair growth with each use. And a unique formula um, moisturizes and repa repairs dry, brittle hair. And it helps you achieve pillow soft curls with natural shine. So I went really thick on this product because the shampoo was a bit drying. So, and that's to come with products that are meant to remove buildup. That shampoo is good for if you're like me who uses a lot of edge control or a lot of gel, a lot of products throughout the week, and then you need to like really wash your hair properly. It will give you a good wash, but it's not something that's going to give you a very moisturizing feeling afterwards. Now this conditioner though, this conditioner was very thick and creamy. Um, I let's actually sat under dryer for 15 minutes. It didn't say if you need to sit under dryer or not on the product. But I sat on the dryer for 15 minutes and because it is also a leave-in conditioner, I rinsed out um, some of it with cool water and then I left some back in my hair. So when I shampoo my hair, what I like to do is first wash my hair with warm water. Then I like to rinse out the conditioner or the shampoo with cool water just to close off my cuticles. And that tends to work very well for me because I have low frosty hair. And my hair type needs um, low prosty hair. It needs heat in order to penetrate and get some kind of conditioning treatment, moisturizer through it. You can also heat up your deep conditioner if you want to. I just prefer to sit under the dryer. And I like to start off on warm water, again, when I'm shampooing my hair. And then close off my cuticles with cold water when I'm rinsing out the deep conditioner to leave all the moisture sealed in. So the next product I'm going to be using is the Flaxseed Smoothing Gel. Now this product says it eliminates frizz and increases manageability, has aloe, shea butter, honey, and vitamin E, promotes healthy hair growth. Sulfate free gel provides the right amount of hold. Now this product right here says, oh my god, so it does feel exactly like how flaxseeds feel. I remember when we had like a bit of a crave. I don't know how long you've been natural, but if you were like following like some of the girls that were extremely big in the natural hair community probably like what nine years ago you remember when they started like doing the whole flaxseed gel and everybody was just making their own flaxseeds i remember that um that rave and that's exactly what it feels like it has like this watery kind of jelly kind of feeling to it i'm going to use the edge fix from kiss and this was like their collaboration with sweetie and I will say this edge control lays, sis. It lays and it goes nowhere. It is the bomb. Oh my goodness. It is the bomb. But back to the gel. This gel gave me such a beautiful um, hold on my hair. And my hair felt really, really soft, which you will see. Now I like to do my swoop on wet hair because it lays better. And I'm just going to go ahead and lay my edges and I'm going to use Sweetie and um, Kiss Products Collaboration Edge Control. And I got all these products in PR. They all sent me this. I'm just going to give you my thoughts on it and what not and what the products do and how I use them. Now, um, Cantu is really known for having um, affordable products you can find anywhere, so like pretty much like Walmart or Target. Now, I'm not sure if you can find this product line at Walmart or Target. But just know I'm going to leave everything I use in the description box below and the links to everything and that way you can find that for yourself. So this is the cream gel and again it feels very creamy and very like flaxseed 
jelly like like you know how it feels like that's how it feels so i'm just going to add the product and uh, a little goes a long way and then i'm going to go ahead and twist my hair so i'm going to twist my hair all the way down and then i'm going to use my um perm rods on my um ends to seal everything in place and then i'm going to use the edge control and I'm just going to actually use that to keep my um, my ends from rolling out because my ends will just, you know, unravel. So I like to use edge control on my ends to keep everything in place. And I'm using those uh, little clips that you're seeing at the root of my hair to retain retain length because I am going to sit under dryer. Um, if you're going to sleep in this overnight, then make sure you put the clips in your hair because you get even more shrinkage when you air dry versus when you sit on the dryer, when you sit on the dryer, it helps keep the length. Plus, adding those clips are a good way to just kind of, you know, retain some length. So that's why I'm using it. My hair is really good for shrinkage. So that's all she wrote. So I sat on the dryer for about two hours because, again, I have low frosty hair. And because my ends are colored, they like to hang on to water. And that's just how my hair is. So I'm going to just go ahead and just re-say some things just in case you skip forward or you're just trying to get past all the stuff and get to the um the end. First things first, when I shampoo my hair, I like to shampoo in warm water. Then I like to um, rinse my conditioner out in cold water or cool water because that helps seal in the moisture in my hair. I, like, I must deep condition under a dryer. Uh, for me, protein treatments work best with my low frosty hair or cholesterol treatments work best with my low, low frosty hair. I found that ever since I started doing deep conditioning treatments and I'm not deep conditioning treatments, protein treatments and cholesterol treatments, my hair has really, really been doing amazing versus years ago when I first started this China channel and I used to just do deep condition treatments and I'll do a protein treatment once a month. No, like protein and cholesterol cholesterol treatments are just a must for my hair type like my hair grows with that and you will see like my hair has grown ever since I started doing that I already have um videos on that so you can check those out and this is just how everything looks this is just how I set my hair now I set on the dryer so now I'm going to go ahead and take everything down y'all I got all cute I didn't go anywhere I I was going to go somewhere but it's been so hard trying to get an Uber and Lyft to like get to places like where I want to drink. And I'm just going to go to my um, homegirl's house. But ugh, I was like, they tried to charge me $50 just to go 20 minutes. I was like, y'all lost your mind if you think about paying $50 to go 20 minutes. $20, cool. $50, nah, sis. You know what I can do with $50? Mm -mm. No, especially around these times where it's a little bit hard now and everybody's kind of struggling. That's why I'm trying to review now like more, you know, affordable line of products that you can get. And again, this video is not sponsored. They sent me in PR. I I personally was not a big fan of um Cantu. And I'm using their actually flaxseed smoothing oil. And again, I'll leave everything I use in the description um, below. I really like this oil because it was lightweight and it reminded me of a hair serum. I normally don't like to use oils when I'm unraveling my hair because it tends to weigh my hair down. My camera didn't record um, me showing it to y'all for whatever reason. I don't know why. Or I probably accidentally deleted that part while editing. <laughs> but anyway, again, I leave everything in the description on the box below. I know I'm saying that a lot, but I just like to keep telling you because some people don't, um, you know, don't hear that part or they'll still ask those questions. So just check the descriptions below. And again, I use their flaxseed smoothing oil and I like the oil. Because it reminded me of a hair serum and it wasn't heavy. And I like to separate separate my hair strand by strand. Because that's how that's what's so important with fine hair. Is getting as much volume as you can. And making sure your, your scalp doesn't show. Because my hair can sometimes be like thin hair. And it can show my scalp if I don't pick my hair out. Or if I don't um, fluff my hair. But like I was saying. Um, you know just in times it's just really hard. And again... I wasn't a big fan of Cantu in the past. Like, I used to love them, and then it felt like their ingredients changed, and it no longer worked for me. So I had stopped using them. So it took me a minute to start using their new products because I was kind of hesitant about it because I was like, oh, God, what if I hate it? You know, but I will say I absolutely like their products. Um, Their shampoo 
definitely is a clip like a clarifying shampoo it will give you a bit of dry hair as you can see how it's very easy to see my scalp so that's what I mean by I have to fluff and pick my hair out because or else you'll see everything the conditioner was good um if you're going to use a leave-in conditioner a little goes a long way this stuff is very thick the flaxseed smoothing gel is bomb it's life this is going to be a staple in my closet my curls were soft my curls were defined just look how they look girl they did that they, they did that with that product i'm gonna have to try their um other line that i have and see what i think about that because this gave me like pretty good high expectations about Cantu and seeing that they're trying to revamp um and come back you know a bit harder this time so this is their flaxseed extra hole smoothing wax and i'm just going to just touch up um my little swoop right there because it kind of dried and it started to um you know loosen up so but as you can see my edges on the side from using the edge control with kiss literally went nowhere so it did good so yeah so this is pretty much the end results um it's not going to get any better but this so thank you for watching this video i don't know why i just always got to kind of brush up and add a little razzle dazzle to it I was about to get to my ending um thing but here my extra behind go gotta add a little bit more to my hair and clean it up but as you can see it was kind of it was stiff girl it wasn't trying to move I was like okay sweetie y'all did that this edge control ain't going nowhere and it really didn't so that's a plus so for those of you that are looking for a good edge control I'll leave that in the link below as well so this is the finished look you can see how I fluffed up my hair in the back to try to make sure the space um <laughs> I swatted a gnat out the way. I had some flowers in my room and I was trying to figure out where the damn gnats came from. <laughs> the darn gnats came from. But anyway, this is the finished look. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoy. Let me know your thoughts below. Bye.